Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I want to discuss a, uh, a new product that I'm not really releasing. This has been on the market for some time, um, but I've just started working with the company and it's an amazing company. I've been using their products for years along with some other companies that I'm sure you've heard of like NASA, Boeing, Honeywell, General Dynamics, Defense, General, Raytheon, Pratt & Whitney, and Switchcraft. Um, that's just a few of the companies that use this. For those of you not familiar with electronics, this is Deoxit. It's a formulation made by Keg Laboratories, and you can see how small a vial this is. This is actually 1.6 milliliter. This is their gold edition. And what this is, is basically a contact conditioner is really what it is. It actually does a ton of different things when you utilize it on your connections. Now, all of my spindle cables that I build, I of course use this on. Um, it improves conductivity, of course. It maintains optimal signal quality. It reduces wear and abrasion. It prevents fretting, dendrite corrosion. It forms a protective anti-tarnishing coating, which is imperative to you guys working, um, again, in any type of environment where connections can get moisture. Um, again, if you're dealing in an environment outside, in your garage, and why I'm specifying this um, explicitly is I get a lot of guys that'll tell me, you know, connections are here and there as far as signal quality. Sometimes they'll have buggy issues. They'll immediately think it's an EMI related issue. Uh, believe it or not, this reduces arcing, RFI and intermittent connections. Um, there's not much it doesn't do as far as enhancing your connections all the way around, but what it does so uh, amazingly is that it actually protects the connections for, for one to 10 years, depending on the environment. Think about that. One application from one to 10 years, depending, of course, on the environment. Um, it is a guaranteed chemical through KEG to do what it says. And that's why so many of the high-end companies use it. I don't sell snake oil. Of course, I only sell what I use myself. And I wanted to put together a package that I feel is simply the best value on the market when you factor in what it comes with. Now, you can see in this vial, you actually have a see if you can get it on camera a little brush and that little brush is how you would apply similar to fingernail polish the actual coating now being i get guys that'll say man that's a tiny vial you're correct your kit will include three of these but this is applied in such a small amount because it is so effective now in order to apply it of course the brush is great for certain types of terminals what can you use this on well it would take me all day to tell you what you can use it on. It's safe on virtually any electrical connection, and you'll see that on their actual website if you go to their website. But that being said, I wanted to just cover a couple things that we use in the shop all the time. And, of course, this is literally, you know, less than a, a half a percent of what this uh, chemical can be used on. You've got the option of application. You've got the brush, and you also are getting clean room. Poly, uh, this is a closed cell foam. And these are uh, designed for clean room operation. Um, and basically what they are is dabbers. Okay, these are not meant for heavy abrasive cleaning or anything like that. This is simply meant to apply the chemical to whatever terminals you're trying to apply them to. Now, is it tedious applying them to? I'm just looking at my solderless connectors here. If you were doing each pin, yes, it's tedious. It'll take a little time, but I promise you it will pay for itself. Um, I, in the shop, have experienced some really amazing characteristics of this chemical. And one of the things I've noticed immediately is resistance is lowered, okay? Um, and it's virtually instant. Uh, it is a molecular bonding solution, so whatever terminal you put it on, it actually bonds to the surface. And again, there's a lot of science behind this. You can contact KEG. It's got some really, really amazing principles, but that's one of the things I love is that once you apply it, you're basically set and you know, and I would highly recommend documenting when you've applied it so you can apply it again. If you're outside, of course, you're going to go through uh, more applications. I would say at least once a month on the safe side for when you're doing a PM on your system. But going through the connections, once again, with the dabber, you're just kind of applying it. You probably want to leave it on. Again, you're using a very small amount. You're going to go on onto this is a male DB9, and you would just go through the pins and apply it. Let it sit for a little bit. 
and then just go through again with the same dabber and just go over it. And whether the coating is slightly um, wet or not, it really doesn't matter too much. Um, but again, the longer you let it penetrate, the more it's going to seal. More is not necessarily better. So again, small, small amounts. One bottle on uh, is actually good for up to 100 strokes. Now, 100 strokes is a lot at a 10 millimeter length especially when you're considering we're doing terminals. On memory, I had to disassemble my computer lately to put in a battery. I used it completely on all of my memory sticks, uh, especially on the contacts. Again, you can apply it with the dabber. What uh, I'm including with the kit is 25 of these dabbers because these will last basically a lifetime if you're applying correctly. You can um, always use these again if they're not fully saturated with dirt and everything else. I highly recommend cleaning whatever you're going to apply it with first. In a memory situation, I am including, um, and this is one that's used, I use it in the shop all the time. These are my electronic microfibers. Now these are a little different than what you typically find in your car care section for electronics. Uh, very, very, very tight knit. Uh, these will not scratch. If you're going to clean contacts, I highly recommend using this first. Come over, clean it. And a lot, you know, you see a lot of them on the market. They're real small. This is basically uh, 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters, almost 12 inches in uh, square. And why I went bigger is I like it to be able to cover everything. It will not hurt whatever you're cleaning. Once you go over the terminals, then you would apply the actual sealant over it. And you would apply it again. I recommend a brush application on any terminal like this. Hit both sides, you're golden. You can hit all, all of this, you're fine. And amazing uh, as far as the protection characteristics of it because all memory over time will tarnish, okay? And any of that tarnish you get on there, it can affect a lot of different things. Um, one of the things I love about using it is that it increases your signal quality. And we know that with our system, signals are everything with step and direction. So these, uh, once again, applying this solution to the connections makes a tremendous difference over time, okay? Because many of you guys, and I'm guilty of it myself, we don't always perform PMs optimally because of workloads that we have. So using this as a preemptive will definitely increase the ability of the system, once again, uh, as far as signal co uh, collaboration between it, as far as when we're talking with components. We always want to be careful with that. Um, again, a female DB9, you can see I got screws popping out here. Female DB9, you can see these dabbers go right inside the holes. You can see how small these holes are. And that's why I love these dabbers. You go in, you're not using much pressure, and you just apply the, the actual solution on the tip, and you can go right in here, and you're set. Once again, you're not fully saturating this. You're only applying the liquid to where you want to actually apply it. And you're just gonna put in a little, little drop inside there, and you're good. Again, arcing will happen if a connector comes loose. I've discussed this many times before. You have a loose connection between these, <clears throat> over time, from vibration on your machine, you'll get slight arcing. If you use this chemical, once again, inside these, it will minimize that. And over time, that's a good thing. We want that because you burn up connectors and I get guys that'll send me pictures. I don't know what happened. And most of the time, it's when did you do a PM last on the system? What are you talking about? And I already know what the problem is. They'll check the connector and it may be, it looks like it's connected, but it may be slightly loose. The screws came loose or whatever. And you have a slight bit of positioning play in the two and you'll get bad arcing, which will eventually melt the connectors. Okay. So this chemical is not going to solve everything, but I'll tell you right now, um, especially where, like I said, signals are imperative. Here's a hard drive and you can see, again, this is an older hard drive, but you can see here being it's a SATA version, you still have got the flat connectors, you've got terminal pins. And this is why I went with both applications. The brush application's awesome, but you lay down a little, little heavier coat. With the dabbers, you can come in here and lay down just the right amount that you want to work with. So again, <clears throat> full kit package. Um, I gave you guys two of these towels. Why I give you two of them? is because, again, having two, you always have one for your monitor. I use them on my screens, I use them on everything. And again, why I went with white is so you know when it needs to be cleaned. 
a lot of guys, or I should say uh, a lot of vendors like to sell black towels. I don't understand that. I like to know when I need to clean the towels, so I went with white. It also lets you know just how dirty your components are, okay? There's a little bit of logic behind it, and then when you go to clean them, you'll see exactly how clean they come out. Now, of course, you don't want to take these and use, you know, heavy type cleaners on them. I wouldn't recommend bleach. Uh, again, you want to use these for the application they're designed for. That means your monitors and electronics. Uh, if you're using one for cleaning only as far as prepping all of your electronics, as far as connections like this where we're dealing more with terminals, and you're cleaning, cleaning them, I would isolate it. Don't use it for anything else. Use the other towel for something else. That's the best way to go. Um, other than that, I wanted to include enough of the chemical to last you, I would say, on general application or use at least a year. At least a year. Because this stuff, again, you use very, very little and you get a lot of bit bang for your buck. The big thing I recommend is always documenting how much you're using. What I mean to say by that is you're not gonna document how much you're applying. You document when you used it last. Anything that requires a signal, anything that has power transmission, that's what you'd apply it on. Keep a note, a log, and then you can then periodically come back and say, hey, I applied it so, so far uh, at this time, and then go from there. With our machines, it's easy, because I've shown in a video, Mach 3 actually has a, uh, a PM of preventing the maintenance schedule of how long your machine has been run. I would use that when you do the preventative maintenance on your machine and go over your connections with this. You know, a lot of guys go over lubrication with their system. A lot of guys never think of going over the connections of the system. This stuff makes a difference and it will usually save your bacon at one point or another. You may not know it, but it's better to know that all your connections are protected. You know, I do get a lot of questions on that. And this is stuff that, like I said, to do a one-time investment that will easily last a year. I tried to put it together in a, in a platform that I know everybody will benefit from at one point or another. And like I said, in the shop, I've seen some amazing things. And the only thing I can attribute it to is this. And again, I know the companies I've mentioned would not use this chemical if it was snake oil. And there's a reason they've been around for 60 years. This isn't all they sell. This is the one I recommend. This is the one I use in the shop, and I love it. Um, again, it's, it's called gold. It's actually designed for all type of different metal substrate connections. Um, it really doesn't matter. Uh, you can put it on gold. You can put it on copper. You, uh, it's pretty much endless. But I cannot emphasize enough, if you guys are running your systems in an environment, especially that is not climate control, which most of you are in your garage, I don't care what climate you're in, you are getting moisture on your connections. And over time, that will affect everything. So again, I hope that the video has been helpful. Just to go over the kit once again, you're going to get 25 clean room ISO dabbers. Again, use these over and over again. You should not be uh, heavily saturating these. Definitely clean your contacts on whatever you're going to apply it to first, preferably even on new connections. That's the best way to do it. Um, when you get these in the separate bag, so you're set there. You're also going to get the two towels. You're set there. And you're going to get three vials. So it's 4.8 milliliters total of deoxygold. gold. This will as I said, easily last a year. I have guys in audio, and uh, my buddies in audio tell me one vial can easily last them six months. So I wanted to put together the most heavily valued kit. This definitively, I can't find one better as far as how complete it is for what we do. And that's the big thing. And automation, this is really never discussed, but it should be. So again, if you guys have any questions, please, by all means, um, contact me. Again, I am an OEM distributor from KEG. I'm really proud to say that because that's a very large company. And again, the companies that they're dealing with, there's a reason. Um, if you guys have any questions, message me. If you want to put together a custom package, if you need more dabbers, if you want more towels, I can definitely you know, work with you on that. If you need more vials, if you want to uh, look at getting more vials or less vials, let me know. Um, overall, though, I tried to keep it, like I said, in a more budget platform for the general user. So... Anything you guys need custom, of course, I'll work with you as best I can. Um, again, questions, please forward them directly to my email at storm2313 at gmail.com, or, or you can contact me through my eBay store. Uh, again, you'll see the links in the description. To all of my subscribers, I love you guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope your families are doing well. Um, and I will keep the videos coming.
Thank you. Take care.